Hello and uh, good morning. Welcome to the early hour. Morning bird. Morning 420 podcast. It's 420 a.m. I woke up just for this. I got a sip of coffee for all those early birds like me just rising up early as all hell uh my cat actually almost killed a bird today um it's a beautiful sight to see he was out there in nature and um it was a little little bird and i was all right i'm about to see a kill right now i'm about to see a fierce opportunity for the tiger queen alice and she didn't she alerted him so he got away but it is what it is dude so oh man like many of you out there right now it's day 69 of quarantine we've been quarantined 69 days wow it's uh been a while but i can't wait for the month of april because Every day is 420, baby. Baby. 420. 69. 69 days in 420. Oh, man. I'm going a little bit crazy, but it's cool. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm just doing some really cool shit. I learned how to ollie, so be freaking prepared. I'm going to flex on all of you with my ollie skills. If you don't know what an ollie is, it's basically when you 69 on a skateboard. Man, this episode is all about 69, baby. It's probably because it's day 69 in quarantine, dude. 69 days of this shit. I hope everybody is going crazy too. It's kind of a good time to just drink a lot of coffee and wine and just say, okay, what's going on here? What's going on in my brain? Right? This morning, my brain was very active. Let's just say that. I was thinking about it a lot, but I meditated, and that brings me to my next topic, the baby smacking a bitch. So the rapper the baby, he uh, allegedly smacked a woman. Well, it wasn't alleged. He smacked the shit out of a woman. He gave her the five fingers, high fived her cheekbone. It was it was really fucking rough too. I mean, I mean, if I got smacked by the baby, I'd probably be like, "All right, for sure, bro. Yeah, nice to meet you, dude. <laughs> Sick, dude. Yeah, what's up, man? Nah, I if he tried to smack me, I would just high five him as he was coming for the smack. I would just back up, boom, high five, be like, yeah, and then he would dap me up, and we'd be boys be hanging out with the boy the baby but um i don't think he should have smacked her i think this is my hot take on it he shouldn't have smacked her he shouldn't have some of you might disagree with me on that but he should have not smacked that woman i don't know it's pretty controversial it is now four minutes and 20 seconds into the podcast and the baby smacked a bitch I can't say bitch, though. I respect women. Oh, man. I just drank the rest of my coffee. Um, So, fuck. Strap in, because the rest of the podcast is going to be cracked out, dude. I asked my dad if he ever did Adderall. Big mistake. He's like, what is Adderall? And why are you asking me? Have you done Adderall? Yeah, Dad. I did Adderall once. I did Adderall. 
a few times. I was in college. I needed to pass. <laughs> I needed to get the degree, dude, all right? So, I've got the degree right here, actually. Humboldt State University. So, I majored in uh, going to the gym and smoking weed. Um, for, for my uh, capstone presentation, everybody got high and we went to the gym to see if there was an increase in results as far as gains go. And uh, my hypothesis that I found was when you smoke weed, you actually distort the amount of lactic acid heading into the testicular region of the chestal biceps and triceps area. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good. Because I'm a scientist, all right? Like fucking Bill Nye, dude. I believe in science. Very religious. Oh, religion. You know, these times, they kind of bring out religion. You know what I mean? You kind of like feel like, oh, shit. Like, maybe I should start praying. Or you start praying more. I... Personally, I think God is a woman. I've got a joke about this, but I, I won't. I won't soil it. All right, you gotta, you gotta come to my show on Instagram Live two times a week if you want to hear that shit. All right, that's for exclusives, and you have to pay me two dollars Venmo to get in. It's very exclusive. It's very cool kidding about the Venmo you don't have to pay me but definitely come through um but yeah I pray to God she's a woman I believe and uh, I think the earth is trying to tell us something in this situation with this whole viral viral disease she's she's trying to tell us yeah bro like chill out chill out with the consumption and production of shit because i could clap back super fucking easy and i don't give a fuck and i'll fuck your world up dude i will fuck you up bitch i will destroy your fucking society dude and there's gonna be no gyms and no weed to smoke you know who's gonna be smoking the weed the squirrels okay so fucking figure it out, buddy, because I don't want to destroy you. So I'm going to make this coronavirus. And when I make this, I'm going to name it COVID-19. So Joey can make a joke about COVID-69. And please start living sustainably. Living with me, not against me. That's what Mother Earth is trying to tell us. I am just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, all right? Let's do this together. Let's take this time to kind of evaluate what we truly value in life. All right? I know what I value. 69 and 420. And I value knowing how to ollie. I'm going to post a fucking video for you guys. Just to show you how fucking good I am at alling. But yeah, dude. Uh, I guess this is the perfect time to invest in the stock market. Because it's down. Stock market's way down. So invest now, buddies. Like, I don't believe in capitalism. I don't like it. But. I still play along, dude. I still play the game, right? Still Russian roulette, dude. I'm still involved, all right? And uh, might as well. Shit. Can't really do anything about it. But yeah, the perfect time to invest is now. So invest in uh, a few companies you should invest in are Hydro Flask. One, reusable stuff. Number two, what you should invest in coffee because i'm drinking a shit ton of coffee 
Number three, what you should invest in is pot. Because I just started a garden next to my house and it's weed filled. No, I'm kidding. It's vegetables. I'm growing carrots, spinach, kale. What else am I growing? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I'm growing some tomatoes. So if you want a proper avocado tomato toast, uh, really don't come to my fucking house. Because you're not going to get fucking shit. You're going to get a bullet to the fucking face. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't shoot you. I'd just tell you to leave. Because you have to stay inside during these times. Man, this podcast is all over the place and I love it. Um, it is a hard time to be a hypochondriac though. Holy shit. I'm not even a hypochondriac and I'm turning into a hypochondriac. What's going on? Like, I never really used to fucking get spooked about germs. Now, my hands are bleeding because I'm washing them so much. Um, I'm squirting people with hand sanitizer. Like, man. I can't even imagine being a hypochondriac right now. You're probably just losing your shit. Just resting your hands in a bucket of hand sanitizer. Like, okay. We're good right now. It's okay. We gotta be good. Uh, oh, brother. So, I've been thinking lately. Um, I mean, so, I've had a girlfriend for the, the past year and a half. And we unfortunately have kind of split and um, are not together right now um so i haven't really used condoms (laughs) this is super personal but i haven't used condoms in a while and so i was thinking i haven't yeah i'm not planning to use a condom because i'm not planning to hook up with anybody anyway anyway i digress I think we should get some reusable condoms up in up in here, right? So reduce the waste of condoms. So I was thinking I've got this utensil bag and it's canvas and that could be a condom. That's all I gotta say about that. That was on my list. So I just felt like I should speak up speak my mind. Speaking of speaking my fucking mind, I'm fucking livid with the fucking post office, all right? I'm pissed. The Arcaded Post Office in Humboldt County. Fuck you guys. You guys took my fucking soap, dude. So, I bought this soap because I'm like, yeah, um, I'm kind of over the body wash I have. I'm going to get some aloe vera body wash. Some I spent... $10 $10 on this soap. Because I'm like, let's try it. Why not? Frugality 2020, Psych Soap 2020. And then I wait and I wait and I keep checking the mail. It's not fucking there. Go to the post office. They're like, yeah, fam, like, actually, dude, uh, we tossed that. We, like, terminated the package. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Fuck you dude fuck you you suck you sucky sucky i unplugged the microphone but i'm back baby back yeah fuck you arcada arcada post office trying to fuck me yeah this is the quarantine okay this is armageddon all rules go okay my dad's got guns i don't like guns though I wish people didn't buy guns like this. Like, we don't need guns out here. We don't need guns. Settle with your fists, bro. Come on, bro. Let's fucking spar, dude. I'll box anybody on the planet. Ugh. I am on one this morning. Let's go. Okay. So, something else that really grinds my fucking gears all right so you know fruit right fruit is amazing bananas oranges apples um, yes give me that i love it 
bananas fire okay so they're also really nice because they come in their own little packaging you just peel it and you eat it as you peel some people are fucking psychopaths and take the banana out of the peel and eat it while they're holding the raw banana in their hands or they put it on a surface the raw banana on it i'm like dude this is probably my biggest pet peeve ever and kids love to do this kids especially they have some sort of lapse in judgment or their brain has a hole in it i don't know what's going on but really alarming to me i don't get why anybody would eat a banana like this this is some a hot topic and what the fuck is wrong with you do you also fucking cook your food and then put it on the floor and then eat off the floor or do you also fucking drink milk gross nasty i mean no offense if you drink milk but offense take offense to this i don't like milk very opinionated okay so don't take them so the biggest loser right there's a show called the biggest loser i used to love that shit but now that i think about it like damn the biggest loser like you're calling these people losers they're winners they're out here they're the biggest winner that's what it should be called. The biggest winner. Or the smallest winner because they get small. Or the leanest winner. The biggest loser. Nah. Not feeling it. Not not something I like. It's too derogatory. Reish. Reish. So now that everybody's social distancing, I notice when people aren't social distancing, like especially in TV shows. So I was watching this one knockoff Guy Fieri Food Network show. It wasn't even the Food Network. It was like the Cooking Network. It was like knockoff network, knockoff Guy Fieri. And he was eating a burger. And he's like, yeah, how about you try this? And he like let a little girl bite into it while he's holding the burger. And I'm like, this is disgusting, dude. That's not social distancing. You need to back up 6.9 feet at least. That's disgusting. But it's something you notice way more. And I wonder if it's going to change how we interact on a day-to-day basis. Because I feel like after this, I'm going to be way more aware of like when people are fucking close or they're coughing. Oh, I hate when people cough. And they're like really dramatic about it and they don't cover their mouth. It's one thing to cough be sanitary but like when you're like and moaning stay away just just please just go home i mean the quarantine is really tough uh i'm always outside i'm always (laughs) i'm always uh, going places it's pretty tough i'm always uh trying to go find something to do uh trying to find the most crowded beach and trail and Trying to just hang out with the boys. No, not really. The only time I really go out is to go for a skate. And I hope everybody's got their thing that they like to do in the day. Um, there are people that go out, though, and I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you outside? You're prolonging this for all of us. And we're going to be in this for another 10 weeks, apparently. So we've got all of 420 to get through, which will probably be the best fucking month of my life, to be fair. To be fair, to be quite honest, mate, yeah? I can't wait for that month. Honestly, I can't wait to, like, be able to podcast with other people. Um, I don't know if any of you know him, but Cedric Estrada will be on the podcast podcast bitch 
we're gonna lay down the fucking law okay probably gonna have some visuals too because right now it's just audio we're gonna